Hello, and welcome back to the final episode. Please subscribe to our channel. Like the video. Comments and share this video. You can watch other videos in the playlist. Oh my god, what a day. So because I ask her to pack out. She actually pack out. This woman got's mind. What am I going to do now? Let me call back and apologize to her. Yes I think it is a good idea. But wait, if I call her and beg her, she will grow wings. She will never respect me again. Imagine, she call me a lazy man that is hiding under so-called ministerial calling to eat free food. I will not call her, God forbid. I will not reduce myself in that way. Who do she think she is? How I wish she knows how many women are praying to have a God-fearing man like me. Who loose? She is a looser. I will be strong, I know she will come, begging me. And that time is not far. All my time. My sacrifices. I give up all for this relationship. So, is this how everything going to play out? What? I can believe this is happening. Can I really take this? I am in pain, oh God. Help me out of this. I don't think I can take this. Please Lord help me to be strong. Oh God, give me the grace to go through this phase of my life. It is not my desire to have a broken home. I just can't help it. If I stay, he will not be able to stand up for himself. If he is ready to be a man and take up responsibilities he should let me know. Let me go and spend some time in my father's house before I rent my own house. So, I am the only one in this house. The house rent will expire within three months time. How am I going to renew the rent? I always say my wife was foolish, but I am the most foolish person. Why did I allow her to leave the house? Why am I even crying? I thought I say her will be strong. Pastor Harris use your brain. Think. This is a test of your calling. Okay I think I know what to do. Thank God for this revelation. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs 18 verse 16. A man's gift will make room for him and bring him before great king. I need to activate my prophetic anointing. I will sell one or two valuables and use the money to rent an office and use it for prophetic prayer and counseling. After all the Bible says the workman is worth his wages. Jessica my daughter. You brought this upon yourself. Do you remember when I asked you where is this young man working? What did you tell me? You told me he is a pastor and he is into import and export business. You lie to you father. I know you will tell me that, you lie to us about him, because you are in love with him. Lying to your parent and other, to get married to a man, cannot be justified. I hope your younger sister will learn from your mistake. As you father, I will tell you the truth, nothing but the truth. Your husband never love you. You bought him over with your money. Number one lesson to learn. Never you entice the man you want to marry with money. If you buy a relationship with money, you will have to keep it, with money and sustain it with money. Love should not be the only reason why you should marry a man. Other factors should be considered. You were so blinded by love, until you did not care to know, if he has vision for his life, and family. So you can decide, if you want to go in this direction, or not. Jessica my daughter. I am not talking this long because of you. But because of your younger sister that is still single. Never you marry a visionless man. A man that does not know where he is going, will take you to where you don't want to go. Do not marry a jobless man. Even if you have money to feed the both of you. Make sure you assist him to start a business. Let him prove that he is ready to take up responsibilities, before you can say yes I do. My daughter I will not keep you here for too long. You have to go back home and fix your marriage. I will advise that you go and meet with his general overseer. Explain things to him and hear what he will say to you. I believe your husband will listen to him. Daddy. I am so sorry please forgive me. I was so scared I felt. If I open up to you and tell you, he was not working, you will never approve my marriage to him. I was so blinded by the way I felt for him. I was carried away by my desire to marry a God-fearing man. 
So when my husband came and proposed marriage, I saw it as a dream come true. Daddy, I will do exactly as you have said. But Daddy please allow me to spend few days here. I want to correct his impression. Jessica my daughter, you are highly welcome. This is your father's house. Our doors are open to you. Only for visit, and not to separate you from your husband. You can stay for the few days you requested. Make sure you go back and fix your marriage. Daddy thank you so much. Let me go and rest a little, your mother will soon be here. When she comes, she will keep you company. Prophet, my sister directed me to come and see you. No it was not your sister that directed you. It was the Holy Spirit that used your sister, so don't give his glory to another person. So, correct yourself. Sorry sir, as I was saying, God used my sister to direct me here. Prophet I have a problem. It all begins. Wait, how will you come to see a prophet empty-handed? It is unscriptural. It is a prophetic abuse. It can stop the prophetic grace from flowing. Oh, okay sorry sir, I did not know this. I will drop my prophetic seed before I leave. The seed should be very fat. Because I am not a small man of God. Okay sir, as I was saying. You don't have to say anything. My eyes are open. I am seeing a fair man beside you. Who is this person? I don't know him sir. You mean you don't have a fair man in your life? Yes sir. You are right, this person does not look like a human. He is a spiritual husband. It is because of him you are not yet married. I have been married for two years now. But... But what? The ways of the spirit is not the ways of man. To you, you are married. But in the realm of the spirit you are still single. Your husband doesn't love you. He is only pretending. He has a side chick. Anyway, what is the real problem that brought you here? My husband and I have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb since we got married. Okay, you are in the right place. I have received 365 testimony from women God has blessed with fruit of the womb through my ministry. To get your miracle, you only need to be obedient. The Bible says in the book of 2 Chronicle 20 verse 20. And they rose early in the morning, and went forth into the wilderness of Tico. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established, believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Now, listen to the voice of the Spirit. Go and sell the most expensive things in your house, bring the money on this altar. Because I can see an altar fighting your fruitfulness. In the battles of altars human do not fight. It is altar versus altar. Your enemy altar has been activated with their sacrifice. Put sacrifice on your altar. Okay sir, I will do as you have said. Be fast and in time. Military delay is dangerous. Pastor Harris. Stop fooling yourself. God is not with you on this. What shall it profits a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his soul? O oh God have mercy upon me. According to your loving kindness. Of the truth. I manipulated that lady after my prophetic grace failed me. At a point I got confused. If I do not tell myself the truth. Who will? All the powerful suit. If I close my eyes in death. And open my eyes behind the curtain of time. All the clothes and shoes that I so much loved. None will follow me to eternity. This path that I find myself, is not the right paths. If I continue it will destroy me completely. I have to humble myself. Swallow my ego, look for my wife and beg her. That woman meant well for me. But I took her love for granted. The nonsense she tolerated from me, I am not sure I can find a woman that will tolerate me that way. Jessica, go home. Forgive your husband. By now he must have learned his lesson. Your husband have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. He have so much weaknesses. But he is a nice person. Oh God, you know I have no problem with my husband. I loved him very much. But this is not the kind of marriage I envision for myself. I will only accept to go back, when I sense he have made some changes and character adjustment. Knock knock knock. Oh God I pray, let it be my wife that is knocking. Who is it? The door is open. Come in please. Oh baby, why did you leave me all alone in this place? I 
I miss you a lot. Each day that comes by, I long to see you. Please babe, I am so sorry the way I behaved to you. You give me nothing but love and support in this marriage. But I took your love, support and sacrifices for granted. Babe please come back home. I love you so dearly. From today I will love and respect you. I am ready to work, or do business, that will give me time to serve God. I will play my role as a husband. Please forgive me. Sweetheart. I choose you as a husband, because I love you. I expect you to love me back, but you took my love for granted. Babe please, let put the past behind us. Let move on, I promise you I am a changed man. Okay on one condition. I will not give you my salary again. You will find way to raise money, by getting a job, or starting a business. It is very okay by me. Please do not give me your salary again. For the past two years you submitted your salary to me. I wasted it on shoes and clothes. This time around, I will nor interfere with you salary again. I will work for my own money. God will be my strength. Sweetheart. I have forgiven you. I love you so much. I don't deserve your love one bit. By the way, you look like a movie star each time you wear this dark glasses. But the last time you said I look like a blind person. I was just joking with you. Hello family. Thank you for watching our video. I have forgiven my husband, after he agreed to my condition. From today. My money is my money. And his money, is our money. No way is not possible. Today I am making more money than you. Now you want to lay claim on my money. Your money is your money. And my money is my money. You cannot have yours and be laying claim on mine. Please let us end this story right here. I don't want us to start another episode. If it were not for me, you would have been quoting the Bible upside down. Or, by now you would have been one of the major false prophets in this country. Look at you. What are you even saying? All glory belongs to God. God only use you as an instrument in his hand. Hello viewers. If you never subscribe to this channel. Please, do not just watch and pass. Just press the subscribe button. It means a lot to us. We will always upload interesting video. So turn on the notification bell. So when we post a new video you will be notified. Please like our video. Share our video. Comment in the comment section. God bless you all.